Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, what is happening? Now at the time of this recording, it is April 2020. And the reason I'm saying that, in case this video gets any views in like 10 years time, and no one knows what I'm talking about, currently, April 2020, is proper crap. Everyone across the planet, we're in quarantine, mate, and I have gone through my room, which you can't see, but my room's right there. I have gone through my room, and I have found a bunch of old school stuff, mate, and in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be checking out all my old school Nintendo Game Boy games, and uh, I just wanna quickly say, right, that I shared my games with my sister, who's a little bit younger than me, so there could be some games in this pencil case, apparently, because that's where we kept our game. That is so bad. I mean, this pencil case, it's got to be one of the worst things I've ever seen. But yeah, in the pencil case, our games are mixed up. I haven't opened this pencil case in a very long time, mate. There, there could be some shocking games, ladies and gentlemen. But to start, we're going to be checking out my very first Game Boy Color. Now, this is very heavy. It even says four gamers on it. Look at that. That's how you know I was serious. But yeah, it's pretty heavy. I'm like 99% sure my Game Boy's in here and my sister's Game Boy's in here. I think mine was red. Okay, mine wasn't red. Mine was a strange green colour. Yeah, hers was the purple one. Just, oh wow, that's really light, man. I really didn't realise how light this is, and I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, just me holding it, the nostalgic vibes, they are off the charts, mate. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go in the pencil case. Right, I'm going to be going in and getting only the Game Boy Colour games first. I know straight away I'm going for the Pokemon games, because the Pokemon cartridges... In case you don't know, they are definitely the best looking Game Boy Color games. All the cartridges were like this. We've got Pokemon Yellow. Don't actually know why I started with Pokemon Yellow because I actually started with Pokemon Blue. I never owned Pokemon Red. And lastly, for the Pokemon games on Game Boy Color, we got Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver. Mine was Pokemon Gold and my sister was Pokemon Silver. I do believe I played both of them though. I think of these four games, if I'm being totally fair, I prefer Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Yellow. I mean, Pokemon Yellow, just the nostalgic vibes I have of going through and just having Pikachu follow me, that that was so that was so much of a hype compared to Pokemon Blue. And as for Pokemon Gold, I remember, man, just being absolutely hyped, mate. I mean, the first 150 Pokemon, it, I was properly hyped. I'm a humongous Pokemon fan. And then to be given even more Pokemon in a brand new game, I was loving it, mate. Right, so back to the pencil case of destiny, as I'm going to call it. The next game we have is... Sabrina. Oh, dear. Yeah, this... This weren't my game. Side note, I have been told multiple times that the Sabrina TV show on Netflix is actually really good. So yeah, nothing against Sabrina. But that game, that was not mine, mate. Right, so I'm going to take two out because I can see they're both Harry Potter. We've got, I'm guessing, Chamber of Secrets, yeah? And the Philosopher's Stone. Right, so I'm 100% sure that I've got at least one other, probably two to be fair, Harry Potter games on the Game Boy Advance. I don't think I've actually said on my channel, I'm a massive, massive Harry Potter fan. I love the franchise. I love all the movies. And the games for me, I absolutely love them, mate. I have played these games so many times. I have. I don't know if they've aged too well. It looks a little bit dodgy, but I do remember. Well, I think I remember because I don't remember it looking like this. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Game Boy Advance Harry Potter games, they, they look better. Right, this game's looking straight at me, mate. We got Odd World on Game Boy Color. I remember, or oh, I think I remember, my memory's a bit dodgy right now. I was well young, mate, but I do remember this game being hard as hell. Right, what we got here? Another Sabrina game. This is called Spooked. These are not mine, so don't even. Right, what we said? They're not mine, so don't even. Diva Stars. How how bad is this? Oh, you know, I'm even gonna put it in my sister's game, boy. How bad is this? <laughs> Right, so me just eyeballing it, we have one more, ladies and gentlemen. I have not seen what it is. I've picked it up like this. And it is... Oh, my days, mate. If you have not played Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors, I think that's what it's called. It is what it's called. I'm just going to say it right now. Next to Pokemon, this is my favourite Game Boy Colour game that I have ever owned and I have ever played. I have spent so many hours playing this game 
just look at it. So yeah, I definitely, definitely say of the Game Boy Color games, it's it's a tied first place between Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold, and an easy second place. If I can get it out, Simpsons. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to Game Boy Advance. I am gonna keep it real with you. I don't really like how the Game Boy Advance looks. I don't think I ever have liked how it looks. It looks, I don't know, man. It's just, it's so different from Game Boy Color that I really, really didn't like it. I'm going to talk about the SP in a minute because the SP for me is absolutely fantastic, mate. What is this game? No way. I don't know what Dogs is. It's not my game, I swear to you. However, this absolute beast, mate. Game Boy Advance SP, this is... This is my childhood, man. This is the game. You got the light button. I just, I remember this, man. I'm just gonna keep it real. Next to the PS2, this could be my favorite gaming console, man. I've spent so many hours using this, and I already know, man, Pokemon Ruby is somewhere in that. In fact, I'm just gonna look for it right now. I know Pokemon Ruby's in here. I love this game. This, off the top of my head, it's probably my favorite Game Boy Advance game. This, this game's a hype, mate. An absolute hype. In fact, I can see what is this? Pokemon Fire Red. All right, I actually don't remember buying this. Actually, no, I'm lying to you. I remember getting this because I literally begged my mum. Oh, I never got Pokemon Red, so I need this game. And yeah, it worked because I got it. <laughs> but as much as Fire Red is awesome, you, you can't beat Ruby, mate. Let's do this. The nostalgic vibes, man. Pokemon Ruby. I am 99% sure right now that this is definitely my favourite game on Game Boy Advance, mate. I have spent so many hours playing this game. I love it. We are back to the Destiny. The next game is Zelda. I'm not going to put Zelda in because if you don't know what Zelda is. Next we have Shrek 2. I, I, I don't, I'm sorry if anyone's a massive Shrek fan. I really don't like Shrek. So I'm guessing that this is my sister's game. So let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get rid of that mouldy case. Ladies and gentlemen, Yu-Gi-Oh! on Game Boy Advance. Right, so about two minutes ago, I said Pokemon Ruby was my favourite Game Boy Advance game. Got to keep it real. I'm pretty certain this is number two. I have spent so many hours playing this Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It is beyond the hype. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and you've not played this game, you are missing out big time, mate. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Ladies and gentlemen, if there ever was luck, that was it. Because I am 99% sure I have the Goblet of Fire in there, but I picked out the right film first. And yeah, you can see the graphical upgrade. This game, compared to the ones on Game Boy Color, no disrespect to them, they were epic. But the upgrades, you, you can't compare them. The upgrades, yeah, they are, they are mega. Sonic 3. I can actually see Sonic 2 staring at me, so yeah. Sonic 2 for Game Boy Advance. It is, I'm not going to lie... I am, I'm not the biggest Sonic fan, but I do like playing Sonic. I just find them pretty hard. I mean, not now, obviously. I'm a grown-ass man playing them. It's not too bad. But what I will say is look at this jump from Sonic 2 to Sonic 3. Just that graphical upgrade, that is pretty insane, man. And it's on the same console. So they, they Sega, they knew what they were doing back in the day. These Sonic games, they are proper cool. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, you've seen it. I'm not going to put every game in here and show you. It, you get the idea. Crash Bandicoot 2. I'm not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't remember playing this game. I don't remember owning this game. I definitely had Crash Bandicoot 2 on the PlayStation. That was actually the first Crash I ever had. Imagine that. Going from Crash 2 to Crash 1, knowing how hard Crash 1 is, and yeah. And just real quick, in case anyone says, ah, oh, Crash Bandicoot 1 wasn't that hard. Buy it on the PS4, play it again. It's proper hard, man. Crash Bandicoot again. Except this one's called XS. Another Zelda game. I'm going to keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. I don't remember playing Zelda. I'm not a Zelda fan. No offence. I generally don't remember playing any Zelda game on Game Boy. They must be my sister's games, man. In fact, as soon as I've cut the camera off, I'm going to ask her. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Wow. This was a hype game. Let's do this. <laughs> we have four left. 
I've sought one of them out, so I'm not going to cheat. This is Spyro. I'm not going to lie right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am letting this side down proper. I really, really love Spyro the Dragon, and I have not got the game on PS4. I might check it out on Amazon after this, because I have a lot of free time, as the entire planet does right now. But yeah, Spyro is a hype. Three left, ladies and gentlemen, in this mouldy case. And they're all back to front. I have no idea what these are. We're going in for the kill. First game. Narnia, oh dear. This is not mine. I remember right now, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, you can see it right now. I remember my sister playing this game. I was watching her following this stupid goat man thing. I don't... I hate these films. I hate this game. Goat man is gone. Two left. X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge. This game is a hype. Check this out. And the last game, ladies and gentlemen. No idea what it is. Back to front, as you can see. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. Why do we own Catwoman on the Game Boy Advance? It is one of the worst superhero movies in the entire planet. Judging by how this looks, it looks pretty bad as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pick up this and check out dogs. Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be playing this, so yeah, it's been fun. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my and my sister's, I guess. Actually, yeah, definitely my sister's. Those dodgy games, they are not mine. But those are our old school Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. What is your favorite game on Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Mate, I'm texting my sister right now.